If your CRM has a contact card of one of the main screens, then you'll know how difficult it is to keep all the information easily accessible and to have it as an intuitive looking screen. In this video, we're going to talk about how to design an engaging contact card for your CRM. In a CRM software, the contact card is often one of the most important screens. And that's because it's often used by people like sales reps who need to work with contacts as one of the major elements of their job. So they need to access lots of information, they're managing relationships, they need to be adding uh, appointments, creating uh, notes, tasks, and updating or editing information that relates to the relationships that they're managing in their CRM. So in this video, we're going to take a look at a contact card that I recently designed for Swift, which is a CRM software for property sales agents. Now, we're going to use this to look at the process of how to design a great contact card. So first of all, what we like to think about is what is the goal of your design project? We think about this in detail before we start any design work because it really shapes everything that we do in our process. So if you consider that your, your current state of your software is the beginning of a journey and you want to get to the outcome, you want to give, your, give the outcome a vision. What are the goals? So in the case for Swift, we wanted to make sure that the, the outcome was that it was a much better design, much more intuitive and easy to use contact card for their CRM. So in, in the journey to get from A to B, we had to really get to know and understand the users and really work on the UX to make sure that the usability was great. Okay, so another really important element here is to understand the user. It's really key. So let's think about the user for this uh, application. Most of all, they're uh, sales agents for, for real estate or property sales. And the way they operate is that they're often in front of their computer. They might be uh, pulling up the contact card for uh, their prospects or their investors that they have saved on their database. And they often give them a call and right from, from that moment, while they're looking at the screen, they start pitching them properties or investments that might relate the preferences, uh, relate to the preferences of, the, of this investor. Now, while they're on this call, they wanna have easy access to all of the information that's in the contact card, and they want to be able to actually, you know, do things, make updates. So it all needs to be easily accessible. And that's why we designed the card in such a way to make it easy to use on the fly and, whilst uh, the user is multitasking, which is essentially what they're doing. The next thing we consider here is hierarchy of information. So if this user is on a call, they're speaking with their prospect, um, they, they want to be able to get the most important information first of all, right? So um, they also have a process that they work through. So there's in, in, information that's more important than other information, and there's a sales process that they work through. So we lay the card out to satisfy th these requirements. Um, the, the most important information at the beginning is the contact details and the profile. So we keep that information there throughout the whole experience. And we use the tabs on this screen to, um, show the information in order of importance with the first tab being a summary or an overview of all of the information for this contact. And the remaining tabs represent the sales process. So working through that journey. And that, that enables us to really give everything that this sales agent needs at their fingertips. One thing that's key when you're thinking about the design and the layout is the use of space. So you can see on this page that we've got the, the profile, which is a fixed element with all of the contact information stored in there. Below that, we have some important information relating to this particular contact. The agent can use this to store anything that they consider you know, very important information for every time that they that they that they look at this contact or, or reference this uh, relationship that they've got, and then you can see that the the info and the tabs, um, particularly the tabs, is is the area that they can they can move through and that they can interact with, whilst the other elements that are that we consider the most important stay fixed on the screen. 
Use of space is key throughout all the designs and it just helps uh, make a busy page uh, look easy to digest and look quite simple. So we've actually got a lot going on here, uh, but, it, but it looks easy to use and it's not overwhelming. Um, something that works quite well with uh, space is the way we think about the color palette. So for this one, we, 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 we basically make sure that the software relates and uh, is in keeping with the brand styling and particularly with the website, because the website is often the beginning of the user's journey uh, for new users signing up and also quite often for existing users when they log in. Right, so the color palette must reflect the branding and for Swift we've got quite nice bright uh, teal and uh, green and aqua blue colors. So we've basically used a muted uh, pale um, canvas to keep the, the color scheme of, of this UI fresh and modern and then we use those bright bold colors as, um, as highlights on, on the design. So we use them for important tasks and actions or buttons and we use them sparingly so we're just making um, drawing the eye to the really important actions you can take whilst keeping the rest of the, cl the page clean and clear so last but not least on this design for the swift contact card is designing for the user journeys so we make sure that everything on this screen serves the user, the sales agent, so that they can perform the tasks and take the journeys that they need to, whether they're editing the contact, updating it, attaching uh, notes or saving preferences. Each little interaction has either an accessible link or a button or a tab that means that the sales agents can access this information on the fly or whether they're on a call with the prospect at that particular moment. So in conclusion, um, it's really important to understand your user, understand the use case and the context around how they use the contact card. And that's key for really designing a great experience for that. So if you uh, can keep that in mind, uh, and then and then also ensure that you wrap all of this thinking around some great UX and UI design with with uh, the experience and expertise that comes with doing a great job on that. Then you'll be ensuring that you improve your product, get more users, and grow. If you need help with UI or UX design, reach out to us at useractive.io. Hi, I'm Peter from UserActive, where we help software founders create meaningful products users love. If you find these videos helpful, please like and subscribe. Click that bell icon so you get notified whenever we publish a new video. And we'll see you on the next one.